The first type of flap we're going to look at is the plane flap. And with the plane flap, when it is extended, it just drops below the, the wing and it creates an increased angle of attack. That increased angle of attack will give us an increased coefficient of lift and that will increase the lift of the wing. However, there will also be an, an increase in drag. The second type of flap we're going to look at is the split flap. A split flap consists of a plate that is deflected from the lower surface of the wing, just here. The split flap is deflected from the lower surface of the airfoil and produces a slightly greater increase in lift than does the plane flap. However, more drag is created because of the turbulent air pattern produced behind the airfoil. Some aircraft use a narrow cord split flap mounted on the rear wing spar that does not extend to the wing trailing edge to cut down on this turbulence. The trailing edge slotted flap. This type of flap is similar to the flame plane flap, but when lowered, it forms a slot between the trailing edge of the wing section and the leading edge of the flap. This slot here, this permits high pressure air from underneath the wing to flow up and into the lower pressure area above the wing. The air accelerating up through the gap also speeds up the upper surface boundary layer, thereby delaying flow separation and achieving a higher lift coefficient. Slotted flaps therefore give a greater increase in lift and less drag than simple and split flaps of comparable size. The Fowler flap is designed to increase the cord of the wing when required. By creating a larger surface area, it reduces the wing loading and stalling speed, thereby permitting a lower liftoff speed during takeoff. It operates along specifically designed tracks or rails which protrude from the trailing edge of the wing. You can see that as it extends back, it has increased uh, the surface area. So we have a greater surface area S and we've increased the angle of attack alpha. So the lift produced is greater because we have an increase in coefficient of lift and we have an increase in, in area. So the Fowler flap will be an improvement on the slotted flap, which is an improvement on the split flap, which is an improvement on the plane flap. Uh, when retracted, the Fowler flap, flap is hidden with the contours of the wing, leaving its track mechanism protruding from the wing trailing edge. And then we have a triple slotted flap. And this is used quite often on large commercial aircraft. So a bit like the Fowler flap, it extends and it creates a slot between the the various sections of the flap. So we have an increase in surface area. We have the slots for the high energy air to come through, delaying separation. And we have increased the cord length. So the triple slotted flap would generate the most amount uh, of lift. And here is an example of the triple slotted flap on a Boeing 747.